A Burville man who was the first person with a three-chambered heart to complete the Boston Marathon is running again on Monday, but this time he's not running alone. 21-year-old Austin Prairio will have dozens of photos of children on his jersey, each child born with a congenital heart defect. Austin said he is not only raising money to help Boston Children's Hospital, but also raising awareness about the disease and show kids like him that anything is possible. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now with the story new tonight. Marathon Monday 2017. Burville's Austin Prairio becomes the first person with a three-chambered heart to complete the Boston Marathon. I always had a picture of my dad finishing the race in like a shadow box and I always looked at that picture and I said, wow, I really want to do that someday. That's the original picture that I always used to look at. Doctors said it would never happen, but he proved them wrong. As then 19-year-old Prario crossed the finish line, five-month-old Henry was recovering from his second open heart surgery just down the road at Boston Children's Hospital. We had him wrapped up in Austin's blanket and we had the marathon on TV. Henry's parents, Joel and Jennifer Roshan, met Prario not long after Henry had been diagnosed with a condition that left him with half a functioning heart. He had his first open heart surgery at just seven days old. So many different emotions, just fear, you know, uncertainty. So that's Henry right there. Now at two and a half, Henry's picture is among dozens being proudly displayed on Prairio's jersey for this year's race. The faces, those of children battling congenital heart defects or CHDs. What Austin is doing is, is great because this, you know, CHD is something that we never heard of. And come to find out, it's pretty common. It's, it's very common. The Centers for Disease Control says roughly 40,000 kids are born with CHDs in the U.S. each year. There's a lot of crazy things going on inside, inside a kid with CHD, and, and for him to be doing this, to me, it's, it's amazing. It really is. That one's good. Huh? Prairio says he's running again this year, not just for kids like himself and Henry, but for their families, too. Some days are harder than others. Um, so just knowing that there is um, a light at the end of the tunnel, it, it makes the bad days not so bad. You have kids from Ohio and like I said, around the world, and they're all coming in with their own different story and their own different family, and it's everyone's different journey, but it all connects through like a heart condition and a heart surgery. And, that's what I think is so cool, and that's why the race is bigger than just one person. It's just, it's really nice, and it, it's so inspiring, and it's, it's such a tough day-to-day -to -day journey, so to see that and be part of that, it's just, it helps so much. In Boroughville, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. Austin has a huge heart. You know I can't watch these stories and not cry, um, but... To see, you know, there's a lot of people who run in honor of a cause for the Boston right. Marathon, but to be someone who can say, I lived, I live with a congenital heart condition and I'm doing this so that you know your kid can someday yep. do this too. You can tell how much it means to those parents. He's a real hero. By the way, if you'd like to donate to Austin's cause ahead of Monday's marathon, you can find all the information you need to know. It's on our website, WPRI.com.